So first we're going to take a look at the hardware that goes into the computer system that holds our valuable information asset. We're going to look at the computer itself, the CPU and the components in the CPU, and then we're going to look at memory, the types of memory that we use, and then we're going to look at applications, processes, and threads. There are many layers to the computer system and the operating system and applications that sit on top of this, and then of course the users that actually perform the, the or require the information that is being stored and processed by the computer system. All these components must work together and again ensure that we maintain the security of these valuable information assets. The heart and soul of the computer system is the CPU itself. There are many types of CPUs or central processing units and the operating system and the CPU must be designed and integrated to work together. We'll look now at the different components inside the CPU. That includes registers, which are small sections of memory, very high speed memory, very close electrically and physically to the CPU itself. Then we'll look at the core of the CPU, that's the arithmetic logic unit. This guy does the vast majority of the work inside the CPU. And then we have the control unit. The control unit acts as a traffic cop and coordinates the motion or the movement of instructions and data into and out of the CPU while it's being processed. 